Hey everybody, it's raining outside, so I want to do a quick video on supercharging for long distance trips. I've taken this trip now to Florida, I'm just about back, I've only got a couple stops left as you can see. And I want to just give you some hints and pointers if you haven't taken a long distance trip. When I say long distance, I mean at least two superchargers or more. Because if you don't do that many, you won't notice what I'm talking about. But you'll find that Tesla and the computer basically route you to stop at every, just about every stop assuming you need to stop to make it because like it didn't it actually has two more stops for me here and it does not list the other stop in between there is another one because it says when i get there i'll only have 16 percent but that's a common theme here with routing it will get you to your destination and you'll have almost nothing left so if there's if you can stay longer at the last charger i advise it or if you can Go to another charger in between that makes you skip at the end. I would advise that too so that you're full when you get back to your house. It's kind of like you know running out of electricity. You don't want to do that. The other thing I noticed is that it will, like I said, make you stop at every single charger except for the last one. Potentially, it'll skip that one. Because when your battery is low, and you can see when I get to the next one, I'll have 15%, it'll charge at the most rapid rate. And it basically, and most times, it keeps you there for between 30 and 40 minutes, I'd say. Sometimes only 25, depending upon if they're closer together. But I'd say on average, it's about 30 minutes that it keeps you there. So plan on stopping at every single charger, pull up a map for about 30 minutes. That'll be your route. And again, if you want to have a full charge when you get there, plan on spending a lot more than 30 minutes there. Plan on spending like an hour and a half at that last one if you want to juice up all the way. And actually, this one's not the last one. It's actually... Um, the, the second to last so when I get to the last one I won't need to spend an hour and a half maybe I'll only spend 45 minutes to an hour at that last one between there and my destination so again the rule of thumb that this machine does is it stops at every single supercharger for about 30 minutes along your trip that's how you can figure out how long it's going to take you manually and it is longer than a normal vehicle for sure but you definitely get more breaks you can go to the bathroom you can go shopping you can do a whole bunch of things so have fun with it.